after uh, I published um, Contested Will the, on the authorship question, I got a letter on Supreme Court stationery addressed to me at Columbia. And I thought, I didn't know they had jury duty for the Supreme Court. I can't, I can't do that. And I tore the envelope open and it was um, from a uh, Supreme Court justice recently retired, Justice Stevens, who I admire this side idolatry. And he noted that Shakespeare's signatures, the six signatures are all wobbly, suggesting to him that Shakespeare was illiterate and didn't write the plays. And being combative Brooklyn guy that you obviously recognize in my work, I wrote back saying, Dear Justice Stevens, I admire your extraordinary time on the Supreme Court. I noticed that your secretary typed this letter and also signed it for you. Extraordinary that you've gotten this far as an illiterate. And uh, yeah, it was kind of brazen to, to do that. Uh, just like well, I'm, I'm sure he loved it. He must have loved that. That's he wrote back the next day and we corresponded for six months until I ghosted him because the position he was advocating was an Oxfordian position that the Earl of Oxford, who was fiercely in, in, in the minds of his supporters, anti-democratic, was the true author of Shakespeare's plays. And I said to Justice Stevens, or I wrote to him, and my correspondence with him is now at the Folger Library. I've donated it so others can mine this. But I just said, look, you, you can't celebrate American democracy and advocate a Shakespeare written by a deeply anti-democratic individual. It doesn't work. You can't do both. And he said, yes, I can. And I said, then this conversation's over.